Hi, everybody. I am coming to do, um, I am 36, 37 weeks as of yesterday. So I'm coming to do my update video for that. I did not do an update video for 36 weeks. But at 36 weeks, I had my circlage removed. So last Tuesday, I had my circlage removed. So I wanted to come and tell you about that. Um, and I guess technically this is my 36 week update and I'm going to show you my belly at 37 weeks because I haven't went to the doctor yet for 37 weeks. So anyway, at 36 weeks, I went to see my primary physician, um, my primary OBGYN for this pregnancy. He's um, been my doctor for all three of my pregnancies. So he's also been the one to insert and remove um, my both of my circlages. Um, this is my second circlage. So anyway, the procedure is Everybody's story is a little different, so I'm just going to tell you how mine went. I was really nervous, and the reason why I was nervous this time around was because I was worried that because I've been contracting so much throughout this pregnancy that I was going to have a lot of scar tissue. And I have read online that if you have a lot of scar tissue, that it can make it hard for the, um, that the scar tissue could have grown over the circlage, making it really hard to get out. And some women have had problems getting it out, and they've had to keeping it until they've delivered and all this other action is or really painful. Mine wasn't like that. I shouldn't have read up on all of this stuff because it had my nerves all tore up. Basically, I went in just like a routine visit, like you get like you get in a pap smear and that you know that long speculum uh, the little duck, the clamp, duck clamps or whatever, that was probably what hurt the most because they have to open it up so wide to be able to see it. And then he took some really long scissors and cut it and tugged it. And I didn't even know that he had pulled it out because he was talking to me about, um, I don't know what he was talking to me about, but he was distracting me. So he was talking, talking, talking. And he got up and I was like, you done? He was like, yeah. I was like, what? So the only thing that hurt was him putting the speculum in. Um, that was it. And it took him like a minute to do that. And bam, I was done. So it's just really, it's just more of discomfort, no pain. Um, at least it was for me. Everybody else is different, but that was how it went for me. So I was happy with that. Excuse me, I'm trying to get comfortable in this chair. So guess what? I have my surplus right here. I wanted to show you guys. I decided to save it. Um, first, my doctor looked at me like I was crazy because I was like, can I keep it? And he was just like, you want to do what? And I was like, I want to keep it. I want you to put it in a little baggie so I can take it home. And he was just like, okay. And so he let me keep it. So I had my Sakash. And it's just so amazing how this, when you see this, you're going to be like, that little big thing is what kept me pregnant this whole time. Um, and may save some of you, your pregnancies out there for um, anyone who's going to have to get a Sakash in their future pregnancy. So I have it in a little biodegradable bag. And that's it right there. Right there. Can you see that? Not. I have never taken out the bag, but I'll take it out. It's been in my cervix. My cervix, so. That's it. I'm going to put it back in the bag because this thing is funky. Gotta remember where it's been. It's been sitting up in my cervix for the last eight months, huh? Six, seven months, something like it. So, anyway, I'm gonna keep that in the bag. I don't smell all that great. That's the first time I took it out, so. But anyway, yeah, that's it. That little bitty stitch, and as you can see, it's like tied in a knot. But he cut it, so I guess. I don't know what it looked like when it was in my cervix, of course, but that's what it is. So, and remember, I have a McDonald surclash. So there is another type of surclash, but I don't know what that is. Um, but I have a McDonald surclash, um, and that was placed in vaginally into my cervix. Um, I immediately dilated to three centimeters as soon as I took it out, which means absolutely nothing at this point because I'm still pregnant. That was last Tuesday. It's been seven days. No baby. So, it's amazing to me how we fight so hard to keep this baby in. And now, it's time the baby can come out when they want to. And I'm, I don't have anything protecting me. 
no baby. So that baby is just going to have to keep on cooking. Um, I haven't been trying anything to induce labor. I'm not going to drink no castor oil. I'm not going to do anything real crazy. So I'm just going to have to wait. I have been walking, but not just to get the baby to come, but to just have some exercise. Um, so yes, I'm 3 semen dilated. I have been having contractions on and on, but I've been having contractions my whole pregnancy. So, um, mind you, I did not have contractions with Jaren. When I got my surclass removed with Jaren, I did not dilate at all. Nothing. So, this pregnancy has been totally different. Um, like I said, I'm 3 centimeters dilated. I find out tomorrow if I dilated anymore. Um, so we just have to see what happens. <sighs> um... If there's anything else that happened at that doctor's appointment, that was the biggest thing. I don't get my progesterone shots anymore, which is also known as 17P. So that makes me happy. I just drunk this, right? This this is so good. This is the business right here. I had a coupon, so I got these for like 25 cent or 50 cent at the freezer section. And basically, all you do is like a um, smoothie, and it come with the stuff on the inside. And all you do is put some juice in it and shake it up and drink it. This is so good. It's the business. Y'all need to try it. Let's do shakers. I bought two. One for me, one for my husband, but I believe I'm going to eat his. I'm going to drink his, but anyway. Um, so anyway, I have everything I need for the baby. I have um, the car seat is here. It's in the car. I have my bags packed. I really was going to show y'all what I have. I packed my bag. Um, I got it in the car. I don't really feel like going to get it. I might do it later. Who knows? I have I got a co-sleeper. I'll show you that. So I got this co-sleeper. It attaches to the bed. I got it let down right now. But it attaches to the bed. It's got some stuff in it right now, so anyway. Let me show you my stomach while I'm standing up. So this is my 37 week belly. It's getting out there, right? It has dropped. See how low it is. So that's me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, you want to know something, just let me know and I'll try to update you. Again, I'm going to try to do a video again tomorrow at my 37 week video. 37 week update. I guess I'll just keep going until I have this baby. So I'll see you later. Have a blessed day.